Det är dagen efter den stora skrällsegern mot Brynäs. Efter en knagglig inledning på kvarserien har amerikanen Brett Hawkins och hans rögle nu vind under seglen. Fyra raka segrar och i delad ledning med två matcher kvar att spela. I think we've really come together as a team and I think uh, obviously when you have Kenny Johnson on your team that makes a difference you know and he came back in the second period and gave us a big lift and uh, it was a big win for us obviously now we control our own destiny which is all you can ask. De två återstående matcherna i kvalserien kan också vara det allra sista i 38-åriga Harkins karriär. Mellan de täta matcherna i kvalserien förbereder nu familjen sin flytt tillbaka till USA. På fredag lämnar man Sverige men Brett hoppas att få anledning att snart återvända. I don't know where I'll be next year, you know. These could be my last two games of my career. I've been very fortunate to play in two great teams in Sweden. Obviously, I had a great three years in Skellefteå and I've had obviously a great year and a half here in Engelholm and I'm I'm looking forward to obviously playing at least one or two more years and hopefully be here in Sweden. Första hinnet på vägen mot elitserien är Malmö på tisdag. Malmö som är inne i en negativ trend med två förluster i rad. Dessutom har Rögle vunnit samtliga fyra möten den gångna säsongen. Trots det är det rödökarna från Malmö som bär favoritskapet. I think they have more pressure on them, you know. If you look at their budget of 35, 36 million Swedish compared to our 7 million Swedish, if you look at it on paper, they're supposed to win. You know, and obviously no one picked us. The experts still aren't picking us. And like I said, I think we relish that. I mean, if you look at if you look at our like I said our payroll compared to our budget compared to the other teams in the in this qualification qual series it's not even close besides Vesteros us and Vesteros are probably around the same and the rest of the teams are way up to top so i think that's what makes the game fun you know it's it's not played on paper it's played on the ice and uh, we've proven that we can play with these teams and that's big it's going to be a tough match obviously it, like i said earlier it is a derby and um We have beaten them four times this year every time we've played them and it's tough to beat a team five times in a row. Obviously that's what happened with Lexan. Lexan beat us four times in a row and then come into the into their building last week and we end up beating them. So it's going to be a tough game. I'm expecting a tough match and uh, the crowd's going to be great. I mean it's a fun atmosphere to play in. I love playing in the derbies and admits that's what makes it fun. So what's the key for for a win? I think the key for us is to get the first goal. I think that will be big for us. I mean we came back last night being down two nothing. That was a big thing for us to come back against the Elite Series team being down to nothing. And I think if they do score the first goal, I think we have the experience in our team with Kenny, with myself, with a couple of the other older guys that we know we can come back. We've proven that we can come back against good hockey teams. So I think the first period is going to be big for us. And if we can get into that game or even leave the first period with a lead, once we get the lead, we're a pretty good hockey team. Också en hälsning till Malmö spelarna. Just be ready because we're going to bring our A game. So hopefully they bring their A game and then we'll see what happens at the end of the game. As you can see, if you look at all the hockey bags, that's how I travel. All hockey bags, no suitcases.